Hi guys and welcome to CrossFit Lessons YouTube channel. My name is Andy Osborne. I'm here to tell you about the workouts of the day. We've got a two-part workout for you as usual, but this time we're going to be starting with your Metcon, going to be starting with your conditioning. So we have a 16-minute window and this is what you're going to do. Five rounds of barbell snatches and bar facing burpees. Obviously, if you haven't got a barbell, you can use a dumbbell or a kettlebell instead. With your bar facing or kettlebell facing burpees, you have to be at right angles to whatever object you're jumping over. Chest and thighs to the floor as usual, and you only count it when you jump over the object. So, you're gonna do five rounds of that, and in the remaining time, you have an AMRAP in the remaining time of box jumps and thrusters. So with your box jump, standard, two foot takeoff, two foot landing, lockout at the top, and then obviously your thrusters with a barbell, dumbbell, or kettlebell, breaking parallel, powering through the hips, and locking out at the top of the movement. So you'll do as many rounds of that, that's seven of each, uh, seven reps of each in the remaining time. After you've done your Metcon, we're gonna move on to the strength work, and it's all gonna be about the core. So it's all about your core conditioning. <clears throat> we're gonna start off 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds transition. Your first exercise is a leg raise. Head and shoulders off the ground, hands behind the head, back imprinted, tummy switched on. Lower the legs as far as you can without losing that back and then bring the legs back up again. So that is your leg raises. Then you're gonna move straight onto some flutter kicks. Again, back imprinted, head and shoulders off the ground. You're gonna lower the legs as far as you can without the back lifting, without that belly doming, and then you're gonna flutter the legs. Keep the movement nice and small and make sure you're moving from the hip. Then you're gonna move on to some reverse curls. So with your reverse curls, guys, we're keeping this movement nice and small. Start off with those legs crossed, knees wide. You should have a small gap under the back, your neutral position. You're going to tilt the pelvis, imprint the spine, and just tilt so that the tailbone comes off the floor. Keep the movement nice and small so you can localize that right down in your deep and lower abdominals. Then you're going to finish off with 45 seconds of back raises. So your back raises, obviously you need to roll over, chest to the floor, extend those arms out in that wide position, legs together, switch on the glutes, and you're gonna lift up, hinging from the bottom of the rib cage. So don't come up too high, just hinging from that position each time, extending through those arms, keeping those shoulders locked out from the ears. So 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of transition, and you've got three rounds. So have fun with it, guys, and enjoy. 